হ্যালো বন্ধুরা আজ আমরা আপনাদেরকে নিয়ে যাব ন্যাশনাল মিউজিয়াম অফ রুরাল লাইফ মিউজিয়ামটা স্কটল্যান্ডের কান্ট্রি সাইডে অবস্থিত এবং এটি একটি ফাইভ স্টার মিউজিয়াম এই জাদুঘরের মাধ্যমে স্কটল্যান্ডের গ্রামীণ ইতিহাসকে রূপদানকারী জমি মানুষ ও কাজের উপায় সম্পর্কে আপনারা জানতে পারবেন ডিসকভার করতে পারবেন স্কটল্যান্ডের ট্রাক্টর কম্বাইন হার্ভেস্টার এবং অন্যান্য কৃষি যন্ত্রপাতির বৃহত্তম সংগ্রহ এছাড়াও মিউজিয়াম থেকে অল্প হাঁটা বা ট্রাক্টার ট্রেলারে করে আপনি যেতে পারেন ওয়ার্কিং ফার্মে ফার্মে আপনারা দেখতে পাবেন এয়ার সায়ার অ্যাবারডিনের অ্যাঙ্গাস এবং হাইল্যান্ডের গবাদি পশু ভেড়া মুরগি এবং ক্লাইডসডেল ঘোড়া আরও ভিজিট করতে পারেন জর্জিয়ান ফার্ম হাউসে যেখানে ল্যানার্ক সায়ারের রিড পরিবার দশ প্রজন্ম ধরে বাস করত তবে আনফর্চুনেটলি এখন কোভিডের জন্য মিউজিয়াম থেকে হাঁটা পথেই আপনাকে ওয়ার্কিং ফার্মে যেতে হবে এবং জর্জিয়ান ফার্ম হাউসটাও আপাতত বন্ধ রয়েছে ভিডিওটা একটু বড় হয়ে যাবে বলে আমরা দুই পর্বে ভিডিওটা করেছি প্রথম পর্বে থাকবে শুধুমাত্র মেইন মিউজিয়ামটা আর দ্বিতীয় পর্বে আমরা ভিজিট করব ফার্ম হাউসটা চলুন তাহলে দেখে আসি ন্যাশনাল মিউজিয়াম অফ রুরাল লাইফের প্রথম পর্বটা আশা করি আপনারা এনজয় করবেন Today we are going to show you a beautiful museum. It is the National Museum of Rural Life in Scotland. It is located outside the city. We parked our car and then started walking towards the museum. The completed museum features a 50,000 square foot museum and visitor center. Suddenly, an oval canopy appeared. It was a fun shelter to play in. Let me now tell you some facts about this museum collected from Google and Wikipedia. The award-winning National Museum of Rural Life is a popular family attraction. The National Museum of Rural Life previously was known as the Museum of Scottish Country Life is based at Wester Kittockside Farm, lying between East Kilbride in South Lanarkshire and Carmanock in Glasgow. It is run by National Museum Scotland. Today is Gina the horse's first birthday. This is a statue of William Wilson Dickey. He founded an engineering company called William Dick and Sons which made agricultural equipment. The most well-known item was a windmill used to pump water. These notice boards show an introduction to the museum and some of its history from the past. As you can see, West Kittock side has a very rich history and I would highly suggest anyone interested to read more about it. 
William Shields painted a variety of paintings. This includes four dogs, a collie from Tweedale, a Scots Deerhound, an Otter Terrier and a Scots Terrier. The Fifeshire breed, also known as the Five Horned Cow or Falkland breed. This is a Berkshire pig. This is a Cheviot lamb from Attenburn, Roxburghshire. These are Orkney and Shetland sheep. This big animal is a shorthorn bull. Romulus is a nickname from Roxburghshire. These cute creatures are West Highland ponies. The museum has over 20,000 objects relating to country life. We went during the coronavirus pandemic, so sadly we could not show you everything as there were some time restrictions and some of the exhibitions were closed off. The cabinets display models of equipment that was used in a variety of time periods in history. The exhibitions are all part of the Highland Society model. It is truly incredible how the landscape over time has changed. These posters show some of the ways that the land has changed. The side of the museum showed bees, including the rolls, the honey cycle, and the rural life and their history. These are the beehives themselves where the bees lived. This exhibition asks the question, did people in the previous time have a simpler life? This is a mole plow. It's a device that was used to install small pipes with minimal damage to the surrounding environment. This is a model of the Great Wheel of Blair Drummond. This exhibition shows ways in which transport has developed over time. 
This includes railways, tracks and roads, motor transport, This shows life in the countryside, including some of the things that people did, hobbies, activities, etc. During the World War I and II, the, at various points people had struggled for survival. These showed some of the toys that children used to play. They did a lot of work but also had some pastimes. This cabinet shows the cloning including Dolly the sheep and the scientific advancements made in the 1990s. The chairs are unique and very nice to look at, also very comfortable. This landscape model shows western ketoxide today. The museum has a variety of tractors on display. These tractors are shown from very early models to much more advanced modern ones including their evolution over time and how they have developed. This was the tractor store where they were all on display side by side. This museum has over 300 years of Scottish rural history you will be able to see Scotland's largest collection of tractors, combined harvesters and other farming machinery. A farrier should not be confused with a blacksmith. A farrier works with horses but needs training in blacksmithing in order to make the shoe for the horse properly. A blacksmith, on the other hand, is a smith who works with iron to make a variety of tools and they may never even have any contact with horses.
Our tour of the museum is complete. We will now move on to the farmhouse. Thank you for watching our video. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.